Hey everyone, I'm James from Zen Systems and in this mini-series we're going to take a look at some of the basics of the 3CX web client application, including transferring calls, putting calls on hold, changing its status and much more. Right now we're going to take a look at making calls and it might sound silly but there are a number of ways to do this, some of which you might not be aware of and it might just save you a bit of time if you're making a lot of calls on a daily basis. So let's take a look. We're going to start off with probably the simplest way to make a call with the 36 web client and that is to find a contact so we're in the people uh, section of the 36 web client and then you can see here I've got a bunch of contacts and these are all internal contacts and you can see that the little phone symbol here if I press that it's going to bring up the, the browser extension and it's going to call Robert Johnson and I'm going to end the call simply by pressing the red button. So that's pretty simple. The next method we have is the dialer itself. So by clicking the little nine white squares up here, it brings up the dialer and I can very simply dial any number I like. Uh, on, on this occasion, I'm going to dial 202. And you can see there it brings up William Brown's name. I'm going to hit call. That's going to bring up the extension and to end the call, simply press the red button again. Just move that out of the way. Okay, so you've seen the extension, uh, the website extension dialer pop up a couple of times there. So I'm going to press my icon up here to bring that up. And the next way I want to show you is by using the dialer here. So one really useful aspect of this browser extension is that you don't actually need to have the whole web client open all the time. You can simply have this floating on your desktop or minimized and you can then bring it up and simply again dial the number that you want and this time it's John and press the green button. To end the call press the red button again. Now the other thing you can do which is another useful thing is the search bar at the top here you can simply search by numbers so again if I put 200 in that's going to bring up John Smith or I can type John and that will bring up John Smith's internal extension number John Smith mobile it also brings up Robert Johnson because his name contains John and it brings up Robert Johnson's mobile number again because it contains John so to make a call to any one of those press the extension, the little browser extension pops up again and there's your call. The next way I want to show you is in the contact section. You can see here I've got a contact, James Howard Dobson, his number underneath, by again pressing the phone icon very quickly brings up the dialer and dials that number. If I had a large number of contacts within here I'd also be able to search the contact database um, again by either a name or start typing the beginning of a number. The last thing I want to show you is the ability to copy and paste a number. So um, for example I'm going to take this number here and I am going to open up the dialer and I'm going to paste the number in. So you could have copied that number from any web page, CRM, and and ultimately pasted it into the dialer and hit call to ring that number. So thank you so much for watching. It's super important for us that we get valuable feedback from our customers. So if you've got some time, stick a comment down below. And if you want to see any more content from us, subscribe.